What's up guys, Safash Rafia, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm joined here with my friend Lukman, who recently got the OLED Nintendo Switch. Today we're going to be reviewing it, going through a couple of key features. And with that said, let's get straight into the review. So, let's start off with the display. And you know what, let's make a twist to this video. Let's start off with actually Lukman's impressions of the display. So what do you think about the display, Lukman? The display overall, it's actually a lot better. As you can see, it's a lot better than the old one. I've played on the old one. The screen size, you could really tell. The bezels on the old one were obese. So yeah, everything he said is true. The OLED Switch comes at around 7 inches compared to the 6.2 of the old Switch, which basically is from the minimalism of the bezels, which is a huge, huge deal, especially for someone who would stare at the screen for a long time. We also, of course, got the new OLED technology, which means much more better and vibrant saturated colours and also much, much deeper blacks. Even though the display is only 720p, it may seem like a small number, but while using the actual switch, it's not really that bad. The display is still quite sharp and the OLED display is definitely what you're going to be blown away by. It does also get quite bright. However, it may be a little bit difficult to see under direct sunlight. Now, moving on to speakers. Once again, what do you think? I actually feel like the speakers are really good. You can hear everything a lot. It's a, everything is a lot more clear, really. And there isn't really much improvement. It's, it's okay. So, the Nintendo Switch OLED speakers, like he said, is not a big improvement over the last Switch. Not a major thing you will need to upgrade for. However, yeah, the speakers are there and they are quite loud and they are quite clear. If you are in a loud environment, you will be able to hear them quite clearly. However, I do not personally think that the Switch's speakers are up next to like the iPhone 13 speakers and the S21 Ultra speakers. That's definitely something Nintendo will have to work on on their Nintendo Pro whenever it comes out. Moving on to build quality. What do you think? Um, they actually improved the Joy-Con rail over here. On the old one, it was a little bit more loose. It still doesn't feel like one piece. Um, obviously, the Switch Lite would feel a lot better. It's okay. The stand... 2 is a lot stronger. Build quality Nintendo have actually leveled up. Like he was saying, the overall Joy-Cons are much more sturdy and they don't move around as much when holding the actual console. However, of course, because it's not all one big machine, there is still a bit of movement with the Joy-Cons. However, it's much more in place this time. To be honest, it quite surprised me when I did unbox this machine that it is really not that heavy. What did you have to say about the weight? Obviously, they said it would be a lot heavier than the old one. I don't really, I don't really find this heavy. It's not heavy at all. It feels normal. Yeah, honestly, it feels just like the old Switch. Like, literally, no weight difference. It's definitely going to be easy to be in handheld sessions for long periods of time. And also, like he said, the stand is much, much better than the old Switch. Probably the main thing in the design department which Nintendo mastered this year. The old Switch, literally the plastic would come off and you'd see the Switch either falling off your table and cracking meaning you'd have to buy a new one. This one, the whole back actually comes out to forward and it does actually go quite back, which means finding the optimal position to play your game is going to be easy. Now, moving on to what you're going to be doing for the majority of the time on the Switch, which is gaming. Now, I'm definitely going to hand this part over to Lukman because this is all he does, basically. Nintendo haven't really improved in the department of gaming. It's the same thing as last year. There's a new cooling system, which makes it run at a sturdy 60 frames per second without dropping. So yeah, Nintendo haven't actually really upgraded their performance, which is kind of sad to be honest. I did want to play at maybe like a 1440p or maybe just a smoother 120 FPS, maybe with the Nintendo Pro series of Switches. However, yeah, you do get the same performance, but because of the new cooling system, which is more efficient, you will get smoother gameplay and an overall better experience with less lag. The OLED Nintendo Switch is an improvement of the standard Nintendo Switch. With the few tweaks added in certain aspects, it has definitely enhanced the gaming experience overall. And that covers all the things. Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed the Nintendo Switch. Make sure you like and subscribe. Safa Peace.